my name is Adrian Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnhero.com on how to add uh, a second portal, another portal to your .NET NUC website, to your existing .NET NUC website. Uh, to do that, we have to log in as host because we need we need host access to 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 be able to perform that uh, to be able to execute that feature. So let's log in as host. So here's what you're gonna be doing. I'm running this uh, website from my local computer, and I'm running from, and as you can see in the URL, localhost slash uh, DNN. So I'm gonna create another portal, let's say called uh, my, uh, new site. Uh, so I want to run from the same uh, site files and from the same database another URL. So again, the second URL will be using the same site files and the same database as my current uh, website. So how am I gonna uh, be able to achieve that? So we have to go to host, portals, and in the portals page, we go to the triangle, or we just click add new portal. In, in add new portal, we have uh, two choices. We have uh, a parent, we can create a parent portal or a child portal. Basically the difference is that uh, the child will be a subfolder under the already uh, existing uh, domain, existing URL. And a parent is a brand new one. Let's, let's create a parent. I will call it local host slash and this will be new site. This is the title of the site, you can always change that later. And description keyword, I will not worry about that. Let's get the default uh, Dr. Took website. In, in a later video I will cover what this template is all about. Let's create uh, an admin user. Okay, and let's click on create portal. Let's see how it goes. Okay, uh, they are just saying that there's no SMTP set up. That's fine. I haven't set up any SMTP for my test website, so that's okay. Now, theoretically, I could just copy this URL, go to another page, paste there, and a new website should come up, but it's not coming up. Uh, by the way, this is Windows 7, so it's not coming up yet. Why is that? Very simple. We have not uh, set it up yet under IIS, so we have said that we want to run this new website, but it's not in IIS yet. So let me open IIS. Have IIS open right here. And let's create, uh, let's add a new application, which will be called new site. Let me just confirm. Yep, new site. The physical path, this is key. The physical path will be the same path as the other, as the original site. So I'm gonna go to inetpub, www root, and dnn. So again, they will be both using the same set of site files and database as well. So again, select there, okay, click okay. The new site is created. Now let's go back to the browser and hope that the new site will come up. Let's see. Okay, so the new site did come up. And the template, the content template that came up is the .NET default 
contents. Just to prove that they are two independent sites, let's go to the home page of the first site and the home page of the second site. And let's do a little change to the title uh, here at the top. Let's click settings. This is edition new site. It's gonna update. So new site here. The other site. It's gonna go to the settings and type in DNN. So I'm gonna update. So as you can see, uh, let's let's log out as well. Oops, don't log out because the title's not there. Anyway, let's go log back in. Admin. Okay, so my point is that the DNN title, the DNN site has a different title as compared to the new site. Just wanted to prove that they are actually independent sites. Okay, so here's the new site, here's the, the old existing site. They are completely independent from each other, but they do share the same site files in the same database. So we are running two sites from within the same site files and database. That's the way we create portals in .NET Nook. I just want to mention that uh, I did create uh, the new entry in, I in IIS because I'm running the site from my local system. but in case you are running that from a, a hosted environment, uh, you have to use, of course, the control panel that is available to you, maybe Plask, maybe, I don't know, any other control panel that is out there that your hosting provider is using. So you have to know, I mean, you have to maybe request to your uh, hosting provider to make a second domain point to the same site files as the first domain. So again, you have to adjust how you're going to go about uh, creating the second uh, entry in IS. In my case, I'm running from my local system. In your case, it might be a little bit different. Okay, thank you.